Hello, my name is Jim Patton, and today I'm going to demonstrate Sabre for you. The design is a typical power conversion design that you might find in any transportation application like automotive or especially aerospace. By the way, there's a lot to see on the screen in this demo. You might be best served to watch this video in full screen mode. This is Sabre. Let's jump right in and run a simulation. I have set up an experiment which is a way to automate testing this design's conformance to specifications since I'm likely to run it over and over. Creating experiments is easy, but let's assume that we created this previously. We'll cover the how-to in a future training video. As you can see, once I have that experiment set up, it's pretty easy. Just hit the green go button. While that's running, let's examine the design quickly. This is a typical power conversion design with a three-phase AC source, transformer rectifier unit, PWM control, and a DC-DC buck converter. Let's go examine our design specifications. You can see typical specifications here such as line input voltage and frequency, output voltage and current, ripples, and efficiency. Let's go back to our simulation and see how we did against these requirements. You can see in the top left that our simulation is finished. Let's click on our experiment report to see how we did. We get a nice report that provides us with a powerful view of how our design fared against our specifications. Let's examine a couple of those. You can see on the top half that we are taking measurements of our design. And then on the bottom half, we are comparing those measurements against our specifications. These correspond with that document we l just looked at, such as input voltage limits, output current. Notice that one of these, ripple amplitude, corresponds to a requirement from the mill standard 704. This compliance standard is commonly required in the aerospace industry for power systems. You can envision, envision capturing the specifications in that document in a complete experiment here with all of the pass-fail criteria. We've just captured one as an example. Notice that we did fail one of our tests. Our design did not meet our efficiency goal. 80% was required and the design only achieved 77. Before we go fix that, let's look at some waveforms from our design. Notice that we have automated some of the waveforms and measurements that we are likely to need. So these pop up automatically for us. Notice that our DC output voltage is settling around 28 volts as desired. There's much more that we can do here with waveforms as measurements, but let's go fix our design. In the interest of time, we won't do so here, but one of the strengths of Sabre is its ability to help you optimize your design. Sabre can do a sensitivity analysis to identify the parameters of your design that are major contributors to, in this case, efficiency. We will assume that that has already been completed and had identified this switch component as the one to focus on. The sensitivity analysis would identify that we need to reduce the on resistance of the switch in order to improve efficiency. So let's change that property value from 150 milliohms to 115 milliohms and see how our design fares against the specifications again. Let's close our previous results while that runs. Let's also take a peek at this design. While the simulation executes pretty quickly, it's actually a very detailed model of an AC to DC converter. Let's look at the transformer rectifier unit for example. This is a hierarchical model with significant accuracy and fidelity. 
We're not just using averaged or abstract models here. The results include second or third order effects and switching transients. It has delta transformers and diode bridge models. But we'll leave this open for now since our simulation has completed. Notice that our design change has fixed our issue. We now have efficiency which exceeds our goal of 80%. This all seems really easy, but what's going on here is quite powerful. So let's take a tour of how we were able to arrive at these powerful analyses. First, let's look at how the design was created. As we mentioned previously, when looking at this hierarchical TRU model, it has delta transformers and full wave diode bridge models. These models come from a library that is included with Sabre. Here we have our diode bridge models and many other common bridges for power electronics. Let's look at magnetics, for example. Here we have our delta transformers and many other common magnetic types of parts. Saber has thousands of these generic parts across many categories of power electronics, control systems, digital, analog, mechanical, hydraulics, and so forth. Additionally, there are thousands of components or characterized parts that match up with manufacturer's part numbers and have been characterized to meet the manufacturer's data sheets. These are a couple of the largest generic and component libraries in the industry and you're highly likely to find the parts you're looking for to create your designs. But suppose you can't find the parts you need in the library. We've still got you covered. Let's go to the modeling tab across the top here. You'll see several tools here to help you create models. If you're unsuccessful, finding them in our library. For example, here's a tool to create a table lookup model. Create a model from scanned in data sheets, motor modeling tool, magnetic component modeling tool, diodes, MOSFETs, IGBTs. You can even import SPICE models and use those if you're able to find them. These tabs across the top are really nice in that they guide you through the flow. Next one is the simulate tab. Once you have your design captured, you can click over here and run many powerful analyses. For our AC to DC converter we are running a time domain analysis but you can do stability analysis with frequency domain or loop through a sweep of a parameter to find an optimal value. Once your simulation has completed then you need to analyze the run and turn that data into actionable information. So for example, you may want to probe around the design to look at how various signals performed. Here are some of the waveforms from our time domain simulation. This is also where you can find some of the measurements that we were using earlier. You can see that you have time domain measurements, level measurements, frequency domain, statistical measurements, so forth. There are over 60 measurements and a lot of automation capabilities that will help you make sense of your design's performance. Let's go back to our experiment report. Notice across the top that the set of tabs has changed in a context sensitive way. So lastly, if you want, you can even export your experiment report to an Excel file for subsequent reporting. What we've seen in this demo is a powerful tool for designing and simulating power systems. We saw how easy it was to evaluate how our design fares against its specifications, make changes to improve the design, and output reports for design reviews. 
To learn more about Sabre, please visit our webpage at synopsis.com slash Sabre. And if you're interested in trying Sabre for yourself, simply click on the link in the top right corner to download a free demo slash student version and give it a try on your own. Also, feel free to contact us if you have any further questions. We look forward to hearing from you. Well, this was meant to be a quick overview of Sabre and its capabilities. Thank you for your time, and we look forward to showing you more advanced capabilities in the next video session.